This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's weighing day here in Dubai, ahead of tomorrow night's show at The Space, joined by Badu Jack. All right, mate? Everything good. All good. All good. Game face is on. Um, first of all, you've seen the venue for tomorrow that you're fighting in. It looks um, pretty spectacular. Uh, actually, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I heard it's like a car museum and it's uh, pretty dope. Pretty sure everyone fighting there tomorrow wouldn't have ever fought in a place like that tomorrow. Right, right. I fought in the biggest stage you can think of, but yeah, that's a little different for, to me, for me. But it's a fight, so who cares? Absolutely. Um, heard you talking in the press conference yesterday, and you kind of referred to Dubai as kind of your second stroke, third home because of obviously yeah. your uh, Swedish connections and also your Las Vegas connections as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, I've been here so many times. This is a Muslim country. I'm a Muslim. I love Dubai. Um, yeah, and I think it has a lot of potential to uh, to become big in boxing. We've seen over the last sort of probably two to three years, slowly the rise kind of from the smaller shows to, to people like yourself now kind of headlining shows here as well as guys like O'Hara and, and Rocky, familiar to the UK fans, but bigger fights and bigger names are coming here. Yeah, absolutely. And I heard they have a show here at the Coca-Cola Arena next month, a big show, world title fight. So, yeah, it's just getting bigger and bigger. So you just got to keep building. Yeah, two world title fights, uh, including Sonny Edwards and, and, and Paul Butler. Yes, with the Probellum show. So, yeah, these shows are getting bigger. Absolutely, absolutely. Interestingly, obviously, this is uh, your now your stint at, at Cruiserweight. Um, so, yeah, I mean, are you, are you trying to do a Canelo? What's going on? I try to do a Canelo. Um, five weight class? I don't know, but let's start with three. Yeah, yeah obviously, yeah. You, the goal for you is to try and obviously obtain a, a world title to be kind of a three weight world champion. That is, I'm assuming, the goal yeah. for you uh, with your move to Cruiserweight. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I'm a big guy for both super middle and light heavyweight, and now I feel I don't have to, I still have to cut weight, but I don't have to cut that much. So now I'm feel happy, the weigh is in a couple of minutes and I feel great. Are you still young at 38? Have you still got a few years left in the tank? Who said I'm 38? I'm not 38. They've been lying to you. You haven't seen my passport. I'm 28. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. We'll correct. Feel, we'll correct. I feel, I feel young. I got good genetics. I take care of my body. So I'm good. I suppose it comes down to how much punishment you or any boxers taken in your career to kind of deter your age thing. And you haven't really taken anything, have you? No, I mean, uh, from the fights, I fought a lot of tough fights, but I have good defense. And, uh, for example, if you look at the fight uh, when me and James DeGale, that was a war. That was a, that was a hell of a fight. And he was basically finished after that fight. No disrespect, but, uh, yeah, he wasn't himself after that. I became a world champion in my next fight. I was fresh next fight. So, so you know, I, I have decent defense and I'm, I thank God I'm still here and still fighting. I'm, I'm still hungry and, and yeah. Is there kind of a 12 month plan? Is it a case of fight by fight for you at this point or what? Uh, I mean, no, it's a, it's a long term plan, but it's still, I'm still, you never know anything can happen in boxing. You can, can be dead tomorrow. I can't, maybe I don't wake up tomorrow. Uh, so you never know. So one, one day at a time, one fight at a time. But yeah, I'm going to be a cruiserweight champion of the world. That's my goal. I'd like to say I hope you are waking up in the morning. It's very morbid, that talk there. Yeah. Inshallah, I'll wake up in the morning. Absolutely. I do want to ask your opinion about this uh, Canelo situation. Everyone's kind of have their mixed opinions about him jumping up to Cruiserweight. We know he's had that light heavyweight uh, period when he fought uh, Sergei Kovalev. But for someone like Canelo, is that too much of a, a weight uh, gain? I mean, he's a, he's a, great, he's a great fighter. And... and uh, like Roy Jones, he fought the right guy. Macabo, I, I wanted that fight actually, but uh, yeah, he's the right guy. He's not the biggest guy. Me and him sparred. He, he's he's like 5'11". He's uh, he walking around at 195 or something. So he's not that big, but he could punch, and he, he, it's still it's still a good fight, good test for Canelo. I think Canelo is still they pick him for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I think obviously we know that Macabo isn't the, the strongest champion at, at cruiserweight. I think that's that's fair to say, but. Um, I think, yeah, it was probably picked uh, more strategically than anything else. I mean, he might be the strongest. I'm not going to say he's not the strongest. He's not the biggest. That's what I'm saying. Style-wise and size, I think that that's the perfect guy for Canelo. 
Can you tell us which one of those champions that you're potentially targeting? Any one of them, it don't matter. Whoever, whoever pays the most money. They are world champions and yeah, it don't matter. All right, okay. Well, you're going to weigh in uh, very shortly. Have you got anything else you'd uh, like to say before we finish, Spado? No, nothing. Just uh, tune in to, uh, what is it, ESPN Plus and, uh, you know, enjoy the fight. Well, if you're watching in the UK, it's on IFL TV. So, yeah, right. we know you've got some... Uh, well, if you're watching in Sweden, it'll be on IFL TV. Yeah, go on IFL TV, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Barry Jack, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you.